So coming next to stage, we've got Harry Xenofontos. He's the Chief Partnership Officer for Viva.com. Harry's work throughout his career in the payment services area has delivered great technological evolution and helped to reshape the payment landscape for European businesses. And in just a moment, he'll be taking us through not one, but a full suite of innovative payment solutions from Viva.com. So, Harry, welcome, and it's great to have you here. Thank you, Crispin. You're welcome. Look, I'd, I'd love to hear a little bit about Viva.com and you know the solutions that you provide. Well, Viva.com started as a software house making software for banks. Um, after getting all its licenses um, across all over Europe, so we're in 24 countries today with a local branch license, meaning directly regulated by local central mm -hmm. banks, with the local presence, people, language, uh, and not only sales, right? Operations, support, uh, I mean, all autonomous functions in each of these countries. We now have the, thick, the, the biggest footprint as a payment service provider uh, in Europe. Now, the fact that we also built our own technology, so everything 100% in-house built and all 100% in Microsoft Azure, that creates another big asset into, into our offering. So what, what sort of companies actually use your services? What, what industries does it cover? Well, we have a digital sales channel that covers from all types of industries, mm -hmm. uh, from micro merchants to SMEs, but we also focus on enterprise merchants where we do tailor solutions for them. Uh, big retailers where we help them innovate in the payment checkout flows, uh, help them uh, take advantage of all their sales channels and whatever um, uh, payment methods or payment uh, solutions uh, to to increase their uh, their sales and and practically you know it's it's their core business to sell. Um, our core offering to them is to help them get paid. That's great, and you're covering all the channels as well uh, across I guess all, all omni-channel um, service areas. What's included yes. within that? Uh, our our, our products, our flagship products, is basically in-person payments tab on any device. Yeah. And smart checkout as an online e-commerce payment gate, right? Uh, together, I mean, obviously we want to address getting paid on any type of device, whether it's from online mm -hmm. checkout or to an in-person checkout, right? Tap on any device means uh, embedding payments into any hardware, because it could be a mobile phone, yeah. Or it could be a, a traditional terminal, but it could be an, an, a checkout, uh, all-in-one, let's say, cash register, a kiosk, um, uh, you name it. I mean, so irrespective and, of what the retailer is using in their stores. Exactly. And we want to embrace and help them use any of their devices or any of their you know, um, uh, solutions uh, without having them dictate what sort of uh, device uh, in of payments. And how does your solution actually help boost conversion in these environments then? What makes it different? Well, the key element and the, I guess the key criteria on, on conversion is to be simple and seamless in the solution you're giving, right? So our uh, innovative or intelligent, let's say, checkout flows um, are focusing on the simplicity uh, but at the same time, the fact that we localize the product and we accept any payment method, that means we can guarantee that the consumer will not abandon the checkout, right? So the, the checkout experience is key. Mm -hmm. And uh, throughout uh, the simplicity of our, our solution and also tokenizing the cards or uh, making an, you know, a simple contactless tap on, a, on any device, means that um, we're making the, the payment faster as well. And that means increase, increase caring transactions, increase loyalty, and increase overall satisfaction. Of and to your the point, fewer abandoned uh, transactions as yeah, well. And yes. great to hear. We actually you. have, uh, and uh, we actually have up to 21% conversion increase of our client, of our client. Oh, that's fantastic. And, and that you cover all the payment um, uh, services for that particular country. So uh, obviously in some countries there are bespoke uh, payment methods as well. Yes, exactly. So not only the international card schemes as we know them, but also the local payment card yes. schemes, but the alternative payment methods as well. There's a lot of bank to bank as well, yep. the QR code based payments, um, you name it. Actually, partnership that we do with those payment methods, we help them also expand into other countries and help them leverage on our footprint. 
That's great. And I'd love to hear uh, briefly how artificial intelligence has been embedded into your platform. How do you think about that? Well, uh, as, a, as a fintech or as a tech bank, let's say we're a technology company and we have been taking advantage of AI right from the beginning. Okay. So we've been among the very first to utilize AI and utilize it obviously for our internal collaboration, right? So uh, we're already starting to see results in our increased efficiency and effectiveness mm -hmm. of utilizing AI, whether it's, you know, in the, in the, um, uh, Microsoft Teams or Outlook mm -hmm. or all these uh, internal uh, systems or dynamic CRM and so mm -hmm. on. But uh, most important is the utilization of AI into our customer support and into our self-care platforms, right? And right now, what we focus to do, because we want to take AI further and deeper into yeah. utilizing AI and actually, you know, coding and development and our product innovation. So using AI into making a better product and, and increasing growth into the market. That's great. So an exciting future landscape. Yeah. And, and then have our merchants leverage, you know, the AI within our product is what's going to make a difference. That's great. Well, I'd be excited to, to see the demo now if we can uh, just take a look. Yeah. Let's go. So this is it. Tap on any device and bet payments on any of your hardware, as long as it's Android or iOS. We currently already have over thousand of different types of devices accepting payments. And you can develop your own journeys. You can develop your own checkout flows. You can be flexible to select your own device. And that's what the most important is. Now, in any retail journey, in any checkout journey, in any client service model you have, whether it's in-person payments in store or whether it's uh, an unattended kiosk or whether it's a uh, cube busting of the traditional counter desk, we have a solution for you. And combining that with our smart checkout and our online solution, then you create the multi-channel and the omni-channel experience where you serve your customers the way that they deserve. Key benefits, and this is what uh, the key advantage you need to recall is that we can minimize your fees all up to 0% as, as long as you can take advantage of this full solution. You can be certain that we can have zero downtime, not only because of our infrastructure in Azure, yeah. but also because we can accept payments Hello. offline and we can authorize transactions when your Wi-Fi or internet is down. Finally, and most important is that you can make sure that your funds will be in your account the same day, instantly, even within an hour. That increases your cash flow and that means settlements even in weekends and holidays. Now, enabling versatile payment options all over Europe is unique. Having the option to accept any payment method, any alternative payment scheme or an international or local payment scheme and having a localized approach to your payment acceptance, it's crucial and we can serve you that. And of course, AI is the core of our strategic growth and we continue to use AI and we'll leverage AI to make our product better, to make our developments and our tailored solutions faster. And we'll use AI in serving you and in uh, promoting the needs you have. And we're looking forward to have in-person or one-on-one -on -one demos together where we can show the real feel of enabling seamless transactions with any tap on any device solution, where we can power together innovative checkout payment journeys. That was a great example of what you do. I'd love to hear some more of your perspectives, though. Do you, do you ever feel like technology is a barrier to customers? On the contrary, um, if you use technology correctly and the way we use technology, mm. and for us, an enabler, right? Not only for us, for our merchants, right? Big retailers now, despite that they want flexibility and to use, I don't know, APIs or what sort of mm -hmm. technological tools and systems and so on, they're also looking for no-code solutions. So for us, we can utilize technology to give them ready-made options and, and innovation without them having to ask. So you're, you're actually making it simple for them. Yep. Fantastic. Exactly that. I'd, I'd love to hear if you've got any recent customer examples where you've been able to make a difference. 
Well, definitely. I mean, the, the, the case with Decathlon, for example, and how we enable uh, payment acceptance inside the store, uh, obviously to reduce, you know, for, for queue busting purposes, yeah. but, but also to uh, help uh, sell big products like bicycles or Jeep mm -hmm. equipment where you cannot self-check out. At, at yeah, you're not going to be taking that right? down to the cash. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Uh, but making that payment integrated into a seller's mobile device, so a Samsung mobile device mm -hmm. making a sale in, in store as make it, you know, a, a great advantage. Another brilliant example is the Petit Bateau case, mm -hmm. right? So our case there, our use case practically was to sell, solve a specific pain point. The pain point was about selling goods in person in the store that were not available in store. So what we did is creating the tap and collect checkout flow, mm -hmm. meaning that integrating a tablet, a Samsung tablet in store to take an NFC payment with their online sales inventory, Salesforce, to sell in-person online goods. So you're, you're basically combining all the inventories, but able to sell it from a physical location. Yeah, and, and practically is the, the inclusion and the integration of systems, right? And then, and then enabling the, the simple payment method for the consumer is... is, is what Again, yeah, happen. back to your point of simplicity. It's uh, exactly. making the complex simple. Harry, we, we've only got a short time to talk, but is there anything else you'd like to share before we, we wrap up today? Well, there's definitely a lot more that I could say, you know, and the offerings that we have, you know, card issuing to microfinancing and, and digital lending and, and merchant advanced solutions. But, but to focus on, on what's most important here is that uh, the strategic partnerships we do and, and, you know, finding us in Microsoft Azure Marketplace uh, and, and partnering up with uh, uh, all these merchant ISVs and, and the hardware vendors and, uh, is what uh, really brings into the partnership together with the merchants themselves. And within that mix, you know, um, uh, to offer a better solution and a better um, uh, differentiating factor to the merchants themselves. Uh, we're eager to work with this great pool of uh, protagonists in this, in this mm -hmm. change and, and to help them leverage our technology and unleash its full potential. Yeah, your flexibility and your ability to work with others is absolutely a superpower. It's been great spending some time with you. So thank you very much, Harry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot.